Uh, hello, today I would like to show you how to create a contouring toolpath using Mastercam X9 and uh, how to correctly set cutting parameters for, uh, for your tools. Uh, this part I have to machine, it's uh, from uh, uh, C45 carbon steel, it's going to be hardened later and right now it has a disc, disc shape and what I'm going to have to do is I have to cut off the extra material from either side to create this uh, key uh, or whatever, this driver shape. We begin by uh, selecting our machine, we already did that, and just for the better visual experience, let's set the stock size so we can see where our material has been cut is. We go with the cylindrical stock, Z, uh, orientation, we select the bounding box, select the, our model, enter and that's it our stock has been created so the red part is our stock and the white part is the actual workpiece we have to machine now next step is to create a contouring toolpath we have to chain our our geometry we are going to be cutting. Select the tool. It's already here. Uh, the tool is a um, quarter inch uh, high performance anvil. Uh, the, the, the feed rate and spindle speed is default. It's, this is probably correct. I'm going to have to change it later. Let's just set the diameter offset right now to 56. I like to have them uh, uh, like 50 plus the tool number. For this machine, what I'm going to be using, it's that's the way it works. You cannot have it uh, length offset and diameter offset the same number. You're going to screw up the part. They need to be separated by 50. Mm, depth of cuts. I don't know about depth of cuts now. Uh, we're going to calculate that later. Clearance 2 inches, depth. Our part is 0.2, but because you have to go right through, I'm going to set up depth minus quarter inch. Coolant nothing, because we are going to be using a air blast to clear the chips. And that's it. We OK this. And our lead-ins and lead-outs are very big so we're gonna have to change that too. I like them 25% to reduce their cutting. Well there you go that's our preliminary toolpath. Now what we have to do is uh, calculate the speeds and feeds for that because what we have from uh, Mastercam by default is wrong. Mastercam doesn't even care what material you're cutting. It just brings this, um, these numbers from the tool library and that's it, so that's not good. Click on HSM Advisor hook and the window pops up. It automatically brings the, the corresponding tool from its own tool library. So we don't even have to play with the geometry. It is already the geometry that you save the tool with. We set our cutting material uh, workpiece material to C45 tool steel. Now there's lots of materials here and when uh, when you don't really need uh, like we, you don't really know where it is you can just use the search. When this window uh, drop down is open you can type in any number or any text And you see how it's filtering out the, the materials. So we are looking for C45. There you go. We found our material. Next thing, with the tool setup, we set up our cut data. We are slotting and we are adjusting the depth of cut to be default. Whatever it had before, was probably wrong so when you 
want to balance the depth of cut to get the best depth of cut for your application, just click on the label dock and it will calculate the proper depth of cut for your, for your tool. Now your proper depth of cut will depend on many parameters such as material being cut, tool stick out and uh, tool diameter, everything. Everything goes into it. It's not just default. It's the perfect depth of cut in your, in your case. Okay, our torque limit is set to 150% because I know that tools handle up to 150% perfect. They can even handle up to 200% sometimes, not every tool. I like to keep them at 150. Default percent uh, torque limit is 70, but it's very, very safe. It's, uh, it's not for production environment. For production, I like to keep it at 150. So we have our uh, RPM, cutting speed, and feed rate. And we have our depth of cut. So that's pretty much it. We OK. And the, uh, the tool path will uh, automatically recalculate. And when we open it, we can see that the spindle speed is now what HSM advisor calculator and feed rate as well. Our plunge rate is very low because we are plunging into the into the air so we don't really need that low uh, feed rate so we can increase that. Our depth of cut is uh, 0.214 exactly what HSM advisor calculated but because we are doing it in one cut we figured we can do it so we don't even use any depth of cuts and that's it. Let's, we can now simulate uh, the cutting process. Now this is not actual tool that it's not actually how the tool looks. The tool has only uh, 0.7 inches stick out. This one probably has I don't know probably two in, two inches or something, which is wrong. But it doesn't matter. The video of me cutting the actual steel part with the real tool is um, in description, so you can look at that. And whatever speeds and feeds the HSM advisor come up with worked perfectly. Thank you. Bye.